alright for the yaw mechanism um, which is pretty much the same as um, RC Explorer's yaw mechanism which the whole tricopter basically is um, you should buy one of these uh, one of these packs um, I'll have a link in the description below and um, then you're going to determine which one is going to be the upper one and this one will be the upper one here and then you need some sort of uh, either a metal a metal 4mm boom or a carbon or just anything with a um, smooth surface that is 4mm in diameter um, and you're gonna want to this is the bottom one you're gonna push this in just about there and then take the top one which is this take the top one and then you're gonna drill it out to 4.2 millimeters uh, in diameter so you're gonna want to attach it here and once you drill it out to 4.2 millimeters in diameter you can uh, go ahead and push this all the way through and you've got a nice turning your mechanism here. So now that you've pushed it all the way through, you've now got a nice, nice turning your mechanism, which should be mounted like that. Now we just need to cut this off. And we'll cut the um, the uh, the metal metal piece off. So just take this and tighten it up. this off now so you might just want to file this so you've got a nice clean surface here so this is your your mechanism now we need to mount the motor and the servo to it all right what you need to do now is to um, take your your yaw mechanism um, and then drill an extra hole because you can see that by fitting this here I'll need to drill an extra hole there so that's what I'm going to do um, so you need a 3mm drill um, and you're gonna drill an extra hole in here Oh, and, um, just get rid of this um, extra scrap that's scattered around the hole like that now we need to mount the servo and with your servo um, they supplied some um, some servo horns and what we need here is this um, servo horn that's formed like a cross approximately um, and we're gonna take the two supplied screws um, those that are not meant to be screwed into the servo the long screws we're gonna take these two long screws and uh, those are we are going to use firstly we've got to sand this um, this yeah what's it called silver horn to sand the silver horn because it's got a small bit of you can see just a small it's a it's a little bit uh, rough you can see I'm gonna sand it yes and then we need to mount it on here and that we are going to do with oops this is not good like that and we're going to take a uh, small bit of CA glue um, and we're going to glue it on there 
and then we're going to take the screws afterwards and screw it in. So we're going to take some CA glue, I got this from Hobby King, um, very cheap as always. So we're going to add, add a tiny bit to this, to this horn here, this side of the horn. And um, try not to get it on your fingers. It's very hard to to get rid of again. So just like that, grab it, and you wanna make sure that you center it. So it will be there. Very important to center this. Now just wait until it's um, dried out. While that's drying, we can uh, work on the servo. Basically, we want it to be flat because it's going to be mounted, oops, like this on the boom. So we want to cut this piece off the servo and using just a small saw like this, um, like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut something like this. We're going to cut that off. And um, be careful with the step. You should not be cutting the wire from the servo. That would be a shame because then you can't use the servo. A good idea would be to uh, sand the servo a little bit. Again, watch out for the wire. Just so you get a completely flat surface. Like that. So it can be strapped right on to the boot. So what you want to do is um, to um, to drill a small hole, and by small I mean one and a half millimeter. You're going to drill the second most in your hole, and it's about. Attach the screw. And then screw in the screw. So, and then drill in the next second furthest hole, I guess you can call it. And once again, take the screw. Drill it in, just as before, like that, and then your mound is actually done. I just need to cut the remaining um, parts off. Your, your mechanism is actually done, so now we're going to attach the last motor mount to the yaw mechanism. And um, we already have drilled the, f the last hole and we got three, um, uh, what's it called, three motor mounts uh, for this purpose. So we're going to mount this one first. So we're going to take it up through the hole, up through the hole, and then just attach the zip tie. And to make sure it's there, completely fastened, right, like that, and up through the hole, attaching it, pulling down. And 
just like that. Again, this should be on this side, on the the side side, if you could say that. Like that. And then the last one again up through the oops. Up through the hole here. And attaching it with a zip tie. Around there and It's important you tighten these up as much as possible. And you can now cut them off. So like that. Like that and like that. That's your motor mount and we're now going to attach the last motor. Um, and we're gonna make sure the wires sticking out sideways like that and we're going to take the two grub screws and uh, the yeah, take the two grub screws and attach one of them just slightly like that and again just use Loctite a little bit of Loctite on it. Not too much, but I'll deal with that later. Like that. And then just wipe off remaining Loctite. Like that. Attaching this last one. Applying the Loctite. So, now we have applied the last motor, or mount the last motor, and we've got a fully functional yaw mechanism, you see? So this can tilt. Alright, to uh, your yaw mechanism, um, you need to, uh, you've got your yaw mechanism here and your servo that connects somewhere there, and when this is... Um, level it's floating just a little bit over the um, uh, what's it called the uh, this surface it's mounted on and um, so I happen to have a old McDonald's um, membership card or something it's uh, just like a credit card I just didn't want to cut off a credit card so I found this a member card so I'm just gonna cut the size of this um, and I need about a millimeter under, and this is a half of a millimeter, so I'm just going to cut two pieces out. 